A very good morning if you have just tuned in. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a Monday. Let's beat back those Monday blues. Oh, what am I saying? Plenty of Monday blues after a very busy sporting weekend. We've got the Springboks going down to the All Blacks. Manchester United oh, failing for a third straight loss at the moment. Yay! To review those losses and other talking points um, over the sporting weekend, we've got the pundit sports journalist Ryan Wallace and Keegan Kruger in studio. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, it's difficult uh, to be positive this morning. I, I am eternally positive when it comes to the Springboks. And there were, yes, some positive shifts in the way that they were playing, the way that we were breaking the line. But so many silly mistakes costing us so dearly and that scoreline is not something we can be proud of. H how are we feeling about the, the Bok camp at the moment? Yeah, it's, it's difficult. Um, I know you say you're positive about it, um, but it's just a game that if we... That we're at the pinnacle of the sport against the best um, Undoubtedly country. Undoubtedly yeah, the best, and yeah. We should be better. We can't allow ourselves. I mean, that's the third worst loss that we've had against New Zealand. And especially and after such a good, good start. Enough, um, Put your arm around him. Put your arm around him. And come <laughs> in there. I can see it's, it's cut him deep, man. It's I cut him deep. for us, on a, what the real problem for us is, is um, we're seeing patches of, of what we can be. Yeah. But there's the patches of old that's coming through. And... Uh, and unfortunately, the patches of old that's coming through is being highlighted very badly right now. And uh, I think, um, yeah, I think for a first half that was so promising, I think five points in it, I think everyone thought, hey, we're going to be, we, we could compete here. Mm. Um, and then the good old All Blacks picked it up in the second half again, as they do every week. So, um, and, and that's where we fell apart. So I, I think for us, uh, there's a lot of worrying signs. I think we mustn't get past or just look past that. There's a lot of worrying signs. But... There's a lot of encouragement, I think, at times as well. Yeah. I think all of, the, all of the pieces are at play. It's a young coaching squad, though, a young team, relatively young team, certainly in its um, structure at the moment. But there is hope. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We've got two weeks now to wrap our heads around that. Man United, three on the trot this week. What is going wrong for Mr Mourinho? <laughs> all right. I'll say about that is I won't laugh at his loss too much. Um, as a Chelsea fan... Um, we obviously didn't do too well as well. <laughs> Again, I, I say, um, you can put your arm around him. Come on. <laughs> it's been a rough weekend, man. I took a beating yesterday. I'm a United supporter, and uh, it was dismal. It was really dismal. It was, uh, it was shades of, of David Moyes and, and Louis van Gaal over again in charge, uh, and it was really that bad. Wayne, um, there's a few players that need to really have a look at the rest of, well, the rest of the season. Wayne Rooney's one. I think he's Mourinho's biggest headache. Mm. He doesn't know what to do with him. I he think it's very strange for with, with Rooney and Mourinho is Mourinho is such a... Usually he'll just tell a player, look, you're not good enough. Yeah. Um, and you're out. Look what he did with, with Mata at Chelsea. And He's I honestly thought player, he would yeah. come in and tell Rooney, look, either you do the job or you're out. And he hasn't been performing for months. Um, and... Yeah, I don't know what Mourinho is thinking there, to be honest. Um, well, it's still early days. Hopefully, they'll be, be able to bring it back on track. Great to see Stephen Pinnell back in action um, yeah. for Sunderland as well. Then very quickly, um, two very fresh faces in the Cape Town Marathon this weekend. A quick shout-out to Asefa Negewa from Ethiopia taking the men's draw. But Tish Jones from the UK, her second marathon, I understand. Yeah, it was incredible. I was there yesterday. Um, I only ran the 10, though. Um, it's not I'm only, not... 10 cases <laughs> is long enough. Bro. At least it's something, <laughs> though. Um, yeah, it was incredible. She did it in um, two hours, 36 minutes. Um, second only um, marathon that she's done. And it's just incredible watching those guys coming across the line, hardly sweating, smiles Still on their racing, faces. Still racing, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Two hours. Um, <laughs> and the two work. hours. Yeah. Uh, no, incredible stuff. Gentlemen, I know this is the first of many times we're going to connect with the pundits. Where do we find you online? Uh, you can find us on Twitter at the pundits SA. Um, our website's www.thepundits.co.za. Awesome. And same with Instagram at the pundits SA. Awesome, man. Love your insights online. I'm going to be following you guys very closely, Ryan and Creek. Uh, Keegan, joining us to unpack what has been, yes, a rather blue Monday this morning. But, of course, we'll get to uh, um, live in the elation of the Paralympics as well. So hopefully that's put a smile on your face this morning. But let's get back into the news.